So you want to know what the ultimate family guard dog breed is? Well, today's second semi-final contest sees the German Shepherd and the Belgian Malinois looking to eliminate each other and move on to the final. But before we start, I wanted to ask you guys a quick question. Now we're nearing the end of this tournament, I want your opinions on what you'd like the next tournaments to decide. Best breed for first-time owners, best pure guard dog breed, you get the idea, so please leave your answers in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get straight into round one of our five-round fight. Whoever wins the most rounds progresses. Round number one. Temperament with children. German Shepherds are known to be good around children of all ages because they are so calm and patient, more especially if they are well-bred, even-tempered dogs. With this said, German Shepherd puppies can be boisterous during playtime and mature German Shepherds can grow into very large dogs. As such, care should always be taken when there are toddlers in the home because a German Shepherd may accidentally knock them over during playtime. The well-balanced and happy Malinois is friendly, protective, intelligent, alert and good-natured. And although will tolerate children when socialised well, they are not renowned for their love of them and would much rather be working. They are hard workers with lots of stamina and amongst the most active of dog breeds, right up there with Siberian Huskies and the Border Collie in terms of their exercise requirements. They bond strongly with their handlers and can work well in a range of handlers, providing that their commands and responses are consistent and they are genuinely keen to please within working and training roles. Without sufficient exercise, and stimulation the Malinois will soon turn destructive and begin to display behavioural problems and they can be a handful when this occurs making them a bad choice for inexperienced owners who do not know how to provide appropriate outlets for their dog's needs. They also have a relatively strong hunting instinct and this should be taken into account within the domestic environment where neighbours might keep smaller pets such as cats or rabbits. Today's contest starts with a tough round as both breeds are devoted working breeds that love nothing more than to have a job to do and execute in that job, much more so than curling up for cuddles with the kids. However, the extreme levels of exercise and mental stimulation requirements of the Belgian Malinois make the only ideal for very select, extremely active families for them to thrive as family companions. So the German Shepherd takes this first round. Round number two, the intimidation factor. The German Shepherd is a mid-sized to large dog that boasts being a little longer in the body than they are tall. They are powerful, muscular dogs of extremely weather-resistant coats. They are very well-proportioned dogs with slightly domed foreheads and nicely web-shaped muzzles. Their eyes are almond-shaped and medium in size, with dark brown being the preferred colour, although lighter eye colours are acceptable. The German Shepherd has a lively, intelligent expression and gives the impression of being a confident and self-assured character. German Shepherds have medium to larger size ears that are broader at the base and sit high on a dog's head. They carry their ears erect and parallel to each other, and these dogs have a strong jawline with a perfect bite. The boast longish necks are strong and well muscled, which they carry at an angle at rest but higher when they are on the move or excited. When it comes to their coat, there are two different types of coat in the German Shepherd, one being short and the other being long, but both are extremely weather resilient. A German Shepherd's outer coat is straight, dense and close lying, with dogs having a much thicker and denser undercoat. The Belgian Malinois are squarely built, proud and alert herders standing 22 to 26 inches. Strong and well muscled but more elegant and bulky, there's an honest no frills look about them as befit dogs built to work for their feed. A breed hallmark is the proud carriage of the head. Coat colours range from rich fawn to mahogany. The black ears and mask accentuate bright questioning eyes the colour of dark Belgian chocolate. I would argue this round is much easier here to judge as my personal opinion as well as general public would be that the German Shepherd is more intimidating of the two breeds. But it would be a huge mistake for a bad guy to underestimate the Belgian Malinois. Round number three, the dog's trainability. German Shepherds are highly intelligent and need a tremendous amount of mental stimulation to be truly well-rounded characters. In the right hands and with the correct amount of training, they are extremely responsive to commands they are taught. They excel when they take part in obedience classes for this very reason and they are particularly receptive to voice commands when the right sort of intonation is used. German Shepherds respond well to positive reinforcement and will not accept any harsh methods or handling, which includes the way they are corrected when they get something wrong. Well handled, they excel at all the canine sporting activities which include agility, fly ball, obedience, as well as being seen working as rescue dogs, tracking dogs and helping the police and other authorities in their work, all of which are jobs which the German Shepherd takes in their stride. The Belgian Malinois is an intelligent, active and versatile dog that is capable of learning and performing a wide range of high-level commands. They are widely used in different countries in a hugely diverse range of roles, including police work, search and rescue, sniffer detection work, personal protection, property guarding and for sporting purposes. The Malinois was originally bred as herding and livestock protection dog, but today they are much more likely to be found working in other roles mentioned above. They are widely seen competing in canine sports such as agility, flyball and obedience events and anything else that they can turn their paws to. 
Now, this is a very tough round to judge. And as soon as I saw these two were going head to head, I've been racking my brain and researching this very decision. It may seem easy when you look at published dog intelligence lists that always rank the German Shepherd higher. However, Mallies are capable of insane levels of obedience and used for roles that the German Shepherd just isn't. Many world-leading trainers also argue over this very question, swearing by one breed being more capable than the other. I personally have much more experience with German Shepherds than I do Mallies, and after speaking to a local IPO expert and friend at length, we agreed there's definitely roles each breed is superior than the other in, but as an all-round intelligence and trainability for the family guardian role, the German Shepherd is the better choice. Round number four, health and life expectancy. The average life expectancy of a German Shepherd is between 9 and 13 years, and sometimes longer when properly cared for. With this said, the breed is known to suffer from a few hereditary health issues, which include hip and elbow dysplasia, pituitary dwarfism, exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, degenerative myelopathy, bloat and gastric torsion, as well as epilepsy. And the average life expectancy of a Belgian Malinois is between 14 and 16 years, and the Malinois is generally a healthy breed. A responsible breeder will screed breeded stock for health conditions such as hip and elbow dysplasia and certain eye problems. As with all breeds, the ears should be checked regularly for signs of infection and the teeth should be brushed frequently. The Malinois claims a round back here with a longer life expectancy and fewer common health issues. The fifth and final round actual protection ability. German Shepherd dogs make excellent watchdogs because the need to protect is a trait that is deeply embedded into the dog and why the breed has always been such a highly regarded guard dog throughout the world. Extremely loyal and intelligent, the German Shepherd is not only a great choice as a family pet, but they are also extremely versatile in a working environment too. Over the years, the breed has been used by police forces in many countries and they play a vital role in the army thanks to their intelligence, alertness, resilience, stamina, reliability and extraordinary scenting skills. Belgian Malinois possesses a serious and protective temperament. They make excellent guard dogs as they are protective of their home and will show little affection to strangers and are extremely trainable in all forms of protection work, which is why they're one of the most commonly used breeds in the world for police, military and protection roles. Another very tough round here and both dogs can be superb at guarding work. However, when it comes to natural ability and in a realistic scenario a family may unfortunately find themselves in, I have to give the German Shepherd the edge here. So the German Shepherd wins this semi-final four rounds to one and advances to the final of our tournament where he will take on the Connie Corso, a contest I'm very excited for and we finally get to crown our winner. Don't forget to leave your score predictions for that next contest down in the comment section below and we'll see if any of you guys can get it right. Click top left for another semi-final between the Connie Corso and the Doberman and click bottom left for another one of my videos I think you'll enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next contest in our tournament to determine the ultimate family guard dog.